Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today, I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly data visualization in R. How we can easily make the bubble maps with ggplot using R Studio. So I will show you all of process step by step. So I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to do make the map using R Studio, and you can easily create the bubble map using the different types of data. So let's go one by one. I will explain all of the step. So just open my R Studio code editor. And if you are a beginner in R Studio, then first of all, you try to check my previous tutorial. I also, I already created a lot of tutorial about that. So I also add the playlist staying in the video description. Then I hope you can easily uh, learn it how we can easily start with that R for data visualization. So here you can see about that. So this map I already created in here. So basically this map I created uh, using this data set. Here you can see in my data set look like that. So in this data set, I have this type of information. So here you can see one column, it show about that city's name. Another column show about that specific latitude and also longitude and then another column show the hello okay, so basically it's my one kind of information so any kind of information we can easily visualize in r studio using the bubble map it can be income it can be affected people or any information we can easily visualize in our map so just we need this type of information this long latitude and longitude this information must, must you need further you need about that your city's name as well as also your information so in this time in my bubble map i want to show this type of information okay so this is my data and this data i want to just convert into csv file okay, so it's an excel file just you first of all you simply convert into csv so it's very easy just click on the file here you can do the save as button and then browse and further you can simply you can see about that comma delimited so this extension simply select and save it okay then it will be saved as a csv file and then we can easily work with that csv file in r studio so in the r studio first of all we need to install some packages so this type of package we need for creating the bubble map so here you can see just i simply put at the install packages and then i make a list so then i can input all of my requirement package so i need the ggplot2 i need the maps then ggmap and dplyr so this type of package i need to install so at the same time i install all of packages so that's why i simply write the function install dot packages and then I just put here this all of packages, which package I want to need. So now further I click on the run. So all of packages I already install it. So that's why it show look like this type of messes. So I again install all of packages. And further after installing this package, I just import all of packages. So you can see it's downloaded all of packages, which package I install it in this time. Okay, so after successfully, you can see all of the uh, is successfully installed. It we can get this type of message successfully unpacked ggplot maps, ggmap deployer. So, all of things is successfully done. So, now further, I need to import this type of package for importing. We are just simply using the library function. Basically, when you want to import any uh, any package, we have to use at the library function and then put the package name. So, just I simply import the package name ggplot then import the map package, then import the gmap package, and also the player package, I also import it. So after successfully imported all of package, now I just simply read my CSV file. So here you can see, just I put here that, um, this is my CSV file name, okay? This file name I already set with my directory. So that's why I can simply put the read.csv file. 
so read.csv so now it easily read so just i simply click the run so you can see it look like that so now i want to check all of column name so for that i simply put at the head function and call my data set variable name so data just i click the run so now i can get all of uh, you can see information in my table so city latitude column longitude column and value column okay so here's i can get from my csv it's about the same value also in here so after getting these things we also need that the map data basically this type of you can see it also show about that boundary so you can get that usa boundary look like that so this boundary i collect from the map data function so for that i simply put here the map data and put the state so now it automatically show you this type of state of the map data so just i simply run it so it also run you can see we can get that map data so now this data i want to plot so basically in this time here you can see i plot the two things one is that this type of point okay as well as also plot this shape file of this boundary so for that in this time we import the two things one is the polygon so basically you can see it's a polygon another is the point so this type of latitude longitude point so for doing these things we are just put here you can see ggplot i simply call in this time from the ggplot we add the one thing is the geom polygon okay so basically it, it uh, function help you to collect the data from us boundary we can get it and also define the longitude latitude for x y level and we make the group and fill color i put at the white so that's why you can get this type of white color background and also you can see this the line color basically color black we set the this type of line color show as a black color okay and another layer i also add which come from the latitude longitude from my data set so this data set i already uh, do it so just i simply call the geom point so basically it's a point latitude longitude as a point so that's why i simply call the data i collect from the data in this data i simply uh, define x and y so basically x is that my uh, longitude column and y is the latitude column and size i set the value okay this point size depend on the value okay so basically this type of uh, big bubble identify about the big value this type of small bubble identify about the small value and i set the color all of bubble as a blue if you want you can use any kind of color and set the alpha is the one further i simply set here the theme minimal and also set the title you can put any title as well as also uh, x level title mainly uh, horizontal title or y level title mainly vertical title and size basically in this time we also add the size as a legend in here so it will show about the legend look like that and finally when i run the code it display this type of map we can get this type of map here you can see so in this time we can easily identify this is the map and from this map we can easily identify you can see the reason about that it between this type of things is that this type of bubble display about the very small size hello and this type of bubble identify about the very high size of the bubble it's you can see more than 800 and it's a 300 we can easily identify it's a big size bubble also you can see this is a small size and after create, creating this map you can simply just export here you can see that we can export it as a pdf or image suppose i save in the pdf just save pdf and then further you can simply choose your uh, directory while you save it so just i simply save in the desktop and then put on the save button so now, now this map is successfully saved as a pdf so further you can simply check it from your uh, desktop folder so just let me open so here you can see it's created the one kind of uh, pdf file so let me open that file then we can easily get this type of pdf map here you can see okay or if you want you can also save it as an image so basically using this technique you can easily create any kind of bubble map if you have this latitude value and longitude value and also there are different types of information you can easily represent it 
as a bubble map using the same process so here you can see this is the full code about that you also try and further face any problem you can easily contact with me then i also guide you so you'll first of all try okay so today is no more and the meantime if you want to join my upcoming online training program you can easily get all of information from my website in upcoming training we are also providing some live training program so basically when you want to join the live training program you can get some benefit such as you can get that lifetime teaching support as well as you also get that all of practice code you can get all of material mainly slide or pdf book or reference book as well as you also get about that e-certificate after submitting all of assignment so you can easily check it all of upcoming date training date you can easily check it from our website and you can simply click on here then you can get the more information about that upcoming online training program so when you will start when it will all of course syllabus all of course content you can easily get from here so i also added this link in the video description further you can check it and then if you are interested to join the live training program for the different types of gis or remote sensing analysis then you can simply contact and then book your seat and join our live training program okay so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe